want so badly for there to be a reason for everything and some justice and some comfort when we die. Midnight Mass is a story that has a wealth of knowledge and wisdom that you can extract from it. I want to express what I believe the true meaning of this story is. Keep in mind that this is what I found from watching this TV show and you may find a different message when you watch it. Midnight Mass has many good messages. For example, not being a glutton, not putting your faith into something blind, or that something truly good, like the gospel of God, can be twisted to our own desires. Or perhaps that someone with good intentions can still do evil. Or it can also be about the path to finding forgiveness. It can speak to many people, but I want to pick at the heart of this TV show. In order to do this, let's go over a few scenes to get a little closer to what this is. Firstly, let's watch a brief interaction between the sheriff and his son, Ali. You're the one who decided to become Muslim for mom, and you're the one who decided to move here. She kept her faith. She honored him to her last moment. In this scene, we learn that the sheriff is a convert to Islam and joined because of his wife. At some point in the not too long ago past, she died of cancer. She was completely faithful until the end. He views this as part of what made her virtuous and strong. Due to this association with his wife and joining Islam, he views being faithful to Islam and loving his dead wife as the same thing. They are one in the same and this is why it hurts him so much when his son loses interest in this religion. He believes that he and his son already have God. And in a sense keeping this faith to God is keeping his love and faith for his dead wife. Many people in our lives view and associate faith in a religion as a family matter. So as we move forward just keep that concept in mind. Next let's watch the scene on the boat. I love you, Aaron Green. I love you my whole life, one way or another. I love you too. I did my best. In this scene, Riley finds forgiveness and he also finds a way to express his love for Aaron. Keep in mind this isn't completely only romantic love. He is saying he has loved her as a family member his whole life and now has a romantic love for her. In this scene, he finds forgiveness from the woman that he killed and he finally is able to express his love for Aaron, both fulfilling a past and present relationship at the same time. But I also want to focus on the music playing during this scene. It is a slowed down musical version of Nearer My God to Thee. This is very important and keep it in mind as well. Next we have a scene towards the end of the TV show and this is where the vampires learn that they will die at dawn and don't have anywhere to hide as a result of burning the island down. You burned it. You burned it all. We should have been looking for Lisa. Let's go find Lisa. I don't know but I think I killed my mom. Yeah, I, I, I done, done some stuff tonight. Will you forgive me kid? I'll forgive you. Notice that as soon as they know death is certain, they are instantly snapped out of the trance-like state that they were in. And they are only seeking to find their loved ones and mourn for those that they have hurt. When death is certain, the only thing we have is each other. As well, Father Paul finally gets his second chance and comes to terms with what is truly important. When I saw what I'd been given, I thought, oh, well, this is the end of that. No more death. It was you and Sarah. That's why I did it. I want you to die. Give it another chance. Then we could be a family this time. 
Throughout the show, he believed his second chance was to come back and essentially save the people of this town. But he finally realizes what is truly important, and that is spending his last moments with his family. His family is why he is truly doing everything. Now, it may seem that I'm simply leading to the message that family is the key and all that other stuff. And yes, that is a message of this show, but I believe there is another layer to peel off and go a bit deeper. Remember when I mentioned the song Nearer My God to Thee earlier? Well, this is the same song that the town people sing moments before their death when they are all united together. The cop and his son do a last devotion towards God as they come back together as a family. And the town sings Nearer My God to Thee as they join together as a town family. This is because the town have essentially come nearer to God, as they have become closer to each other. The show Midnight Mass isn't about the traditional sense of a god, but it is taking a more humanist approach to God. The message of the show doesn't have much to say about God in the sense of an all-powerful being, but it expresses that life is small in the grand scheme of things, and in the end we only have each other. We find God through this bond that we have with each other. The show even hammers this home more with this next scene. Every atom in my body was forged in a star. It's like a drop of water falling back into the ocean, of which it's always been a part. All things, everyone who's ever been, every plant, every animal, every atom, every star, and that's what we're talking about when we say God, the cosmos, and its infinite dreams. Midnight Mass is a story of human relationship, and this is where the peace in life is. All of us are connected to each other, life in general, and the universe. And this relationship is God. When we realize this, death doesn't mean anything. I want you to notice the expression that Lisa has on her face when she realizes she can't walk. She has a face full of relief. This would seem odd at first, but applying it to the message of the show, her legs are not what's important. She is with the boy she loves, and she has found God in this way. Legs are not needed for this, and she has moved past the carnal physical desires. In summary, the message of the show is that God is the connection we have with each other, the world, and the stars around us, down to the atom and the smallest level. We are just a drop in the ocean of what makes God. We don't know what happens after death. This is the point of the boat dream that Riley has. He never gets to see what happens after the boat. He always wakes up because life is just a dream and we spend it with the ones we love. But there are so many little things in this show I could keep going on about. But please just give me your thoughts on this topic. Do you think I'm right or wrong? Or do you have a different understanding of the message of this show? Thanks a lot and have a great day.